Hello and welcome. My name is Josh and today I'm going to be trying to show you how to make this craft right here. Okay, this is going to be our, uh, our layout. Um, let's see, this is going to be our finished product. Uh, we need hopefully a green color. It doesn't have to be lime green. Um, and then we got, I like the bright pink. I mean, I, I guess you could use a different color if they have it. And then you need something to cut with. I'm using the razor. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so as we're getting started, I want to say be safe. I'm using a razor. Um, you don't have to. You could use scissors or anything that can cut. start off, we're going to take this duct tape and the green duct tape. And we're going to make a piece about as long as you want the stem to be. So if you want the stem to be about this long, we're going to cut it right there. All right. With that, we're going to turn it over and we're going to start taping it to itself. Roll it, and roll it, and roll it, and continue to roll it until it's all the way through. You'll get different sizes sometimes. I mean, I'm, I'm doing the quick way if you want to um, take your time, make it look perfect. It'll probably come out looking a lot better than mine. But let's see, I'm just going to try to do this quick for time's sake. But once you have it all the way through, go ahead and it should look something like this. Step two. We're going to basically take this thing right here, and we're going to make, so we're going to have one, two, three, four, roughly about five small cuts to make on this, small pieces of tape. They don't have to be huge. Okay, as you can see, I now have my five pieces cut. Now, to make this thing thick, or at least sturdy, like it's going to stand up when you hold it rather than, you know, flimsy, we're going to bend the stem in half. When you bend the stem in half, it'll gain a little bit of strength standing up wise. So we're going to tape it length, uh, the width of this thing, and we're going to basically tape it up on itself like so and you're going to do this the length of the stem so that's one like I said I'm doing this quick you can always take your time make it look a lot better there's also another way you could do it I mean you could, I guess if you really wanted to you could skip the cutting step and go all the way across with it and just make one long piece and then keep rolling it. I mean, that's that's one way you could do it too. I haven't tried it that way, but that might work as well. Let's see. We got this one on right there. Continue to roll and roll and roll. Like I said, this thing is going to be thick and looking pretty. like so and the last piece this last piece isn't going to cover the entire end so don't fret if you and yours might be longer or shorter depending on how long you decided to make yours so don't don't worry and as you can see the top let's see if I can show you I didn't get this top piece, but that's not going to matter because the, the very top of the flower is going to be covering that, so it's not going to be a big deal. Alright, and that's done with step two. Now we're going to go on to step three, which is making your leaves. Okay, when we're making the leaves, this is how I do it. And like I said, there's you can make, I mean, if you want to think of your own way to make a leaf, that's, that's cool too. This is how I'm going to do it. 
this. Take away some of this. So I'm going to do one leaf for this one, but if you make it longer, you could use two, three. It's not going to have any thorns on it. So it's not going to look 100% like a rose or something, but it looks like a decent flower. Um, see, we got the tape. I just flattened it on itself. Just folded it over. So now that both sides are green, not you don't see very little of the sticky stuff. And you won't see hardly any of that after I cut it. And we'll cut it right now. So I'm going to cut it in semi-leaf shape. As close as leaf as I can make at least. Alright, we got that. Come around. Come on, you. Play this game with me. Okay. Now, go ahead and bring it out. It looks like this. So you got a, a leaf shape like that. Well, not too bad uh, if I say so myself. Then you're gonna also have to make uh, the smaller stem that comes off of that which I like to take a very small chunk and like I said use your scissors or whatever be safe do not cut yourself. The smaller it is the harder it is to do. So go ahead and cut a small chunk right here all right and we're gonna go ahead and take the end of the leaf and fold it over so now you have like that all right and then we're gonna fold the tiny stem on itself so it looks something like this you got something looking like that. You don't see hardly any of the sticky stuff. All right. Then you want to make one more piece of tape that'll stick it from here, from your stem, and you want it to be able to go around the long stem and the small stem. So let's see if I can do this with, like that. So you want to be able to put a tape around it. I'll just show you in just a second. We're gonna take this. It doesn't have to be a lot of tape on this one. No. Come here you. Don't hurt myself. Alright. We're going to take this and we're going to put it, uh, I'm going to say upwards, not all the way up, but you know, a little more than halfway on there. Okay. We're going to wrap it around like so. Alright. So what do you think? What do you think so far? You got, you know, I don't think it looks too bad, right? You got the leaf. All right. Now going to the next step. Okay, on our next step, we're pretty much done with the green tape. Not completely done, but pretty much. Uh, we're not going to use it for right now. We're going to use the pink tape or whatever color you want your flower to be. It doesn't have to be pink. I guess you could have whatever color you want. If you want black flower, that's cool too. But we're gonna have I like to use about seven petals on mine it doesn't have to be um, huge petals but basically you're gonna take a size about this big right you're gonna fold it over on itself like so like that alright and with this you're gonna cut out your petal. I'm going to cut it out right now and through some TV magic I'm going to have the rest of them cut out without having to waste you guys' time. So it should look something like that. Alright? Like I said, I like to use about seven, eight of them. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make them and stop wasting you guys' time. Okay. Now I got all seven of them. All right, got to make it look pretty. All right, we're gonna take, you know, I'm gonna say a good decent size, probably about that much, the size of about four of them. You know. All right, we're gonna cut it. 
once again, be careful. Don't need to cut yourself. If you're a younger person, definitely want to get your parents to help you with this. I don't want you hurting yourself. Alright, we're going to start taping them like so. On there. Okay, now we got all four on the top. Now we're going to make a smaller one, just slightly smaller. And we're going to put the other three on. The only reason I do this is because uh, it just gives it a slightly, I mean, it's not a huge layer, but slight layer effect in the center. Alright. Now you wanna you wanna cut this thing in half right here. The small one. You wanna cut the available right there. You wanna cut it in half because you want it to go just over this part right here. Alright. So it's gonna look something like this. Alright, it looks like I'm going a little bit over, so let's cut this off on this side. So yeah, it should look something like this. Okay, so I can show you. Something like that. Alright, I guess it doesn't matter which way you fold it, but I take one corner, fold it over, slightly triangled, and then you want to fold it like this kind of looks like a cone when you get done with it all right so we get out here like this it looks like a cone all right so that's my right dare your flower just like that all right we're going to cut off the butt end right down here because that's where the, the stem is going to go. Alright, come here you. All right. So you're going to have a slight hole for the stem to go in. Like this, we're going to take the stem, put it inside, and this is where you bring in your green tape for the last time. Take your green tape, you cut yourself a small piece and you're going to run around the base of the end just like that okay and then if you don't want to be able to see because if you see inside you can see a little bit of the green maybe not with the camera angle and the light in there but there's a little bit of green in there if you want to get rid of that you take on that last piece you cut of your, your pink tape you had a little bit left over so let's go ahead and cut that off you have a tiny piece like this go ahead and stuff that down there you need a pencil or something you get it stuffed let's see if I can get, show you guys you can get it in there like that maybe another piece alright and voila not bad right and that's how you do it thank you for watching and Hopefully, if you like it, I can uh, do some more crafts. Maybe if you got some suggestions, go ahead and send them my way. Um, I love challenges, so if you got any any challenges you'd like me to try to make, go ahead and send them my way. Thank you, and uh, you have a good day. Bye bye.